All right, you know, it takes the right amount of love and a whole lot of spices to cook Indian food just right at home. Luckily, though, Tina's standing by with an expert to teach us and tell us how we can learn how to do yes, it. Yes, my friend Shankari Arkot here. Uh, she has so many classes that she's taught over the years and now has some online on Zoom as well. How are you doing today? I am very good, Tina. How are you? Good, good. So we have two parts today. We're going to learn something um, that everybody can make that's very easy. And then next hour, we're going to do something with kids. What's this one we're going to learn right yeah. now? The one we are doing right now is called dal tadka, which is just red lentils, and which looks just like this, and you can find it in any grocery store. Okay. You soak it for 20 minutes, and once you finish soaking it for 20 minutes, you're going to cook it with onions, tomatoes, and just for 20 minutes. You're okay. soaking it for 20, cooking it for 20, and then you're going to heat some oil, and all you're going to do is season the oil with garlic, Okay. Who doesn't like garlic, right? right? Right, And then ginger, cumin, and cayenne. Okay. Just these four ingredients. You're going to saute all that together and then pour that into your dal. And what does tadka mean? So this is a dal that I've already cooked and mushed up. And, you know, it's just, it looks like baby food, all right? And so once you nicely um, mash it up, then you're going to season it with these spices. And this is something we make almost every day in our houses. And you can make them with tons of different lentils that you have. Like I have green mung beans, I have chickpeas, I have tur dal, which is like pigeon peas, I have garbanzo beans. You can take the same recipe and do the exact same thing. And you're going to have different flavors, right? That's the beauty of this recipe. Okay. And what we are doing is once this gets nice and cooked, I drizzle that over my dal, and this is how I serve it. Oh, I serve wow. it with rice and then this dal. And if you want this dish, is so versatile, Tina. What you can do is you can dilute it just a little bit and have it like soup. So add some stock and you can have it like soup if you wanted to. So you're not always eating the same thing over and over again, right? Yeah. So this is super versatile, really easy to make. And what we are doing is this whole thing is to feed the front lines 916. Have you heard of that organization? No, I have not. What they're doing, oh, what, what they're doing is they're fueling our healthcare workers. Our healthcare workers need us right now. So what we're doing is I'm doing a fundraiser for them where you donate $60, and then you can take a class with me. Uh, we're gonna be teaching chana masala, we're gonna do chicken tikka masala, we're make, gonna make Indian unleavened bread, and mango lassi, which is another favorite, which we're gonna show at the kids segment. And what you're gonna do is this money goes directly to restaurants that are serving our healthcare workers for free. Wonderful. That, it's gonna be on August 23rd at 4 p.m. And if okay. you go to feed the front lines 916.org, you will see fundraisers and then there's an Indian class there that you can okay. sign up for. So we figured, okay, you're going to donate, so we're going to give you something back. All right. So we're going to be offering this cooking class. Wonderful, and wonderful. Gonna, okay, well, we got to get going. Right here. Oh, that looks delicious. Ooh, yeah. Looks delicious. Okay. There you go. We'll talk to you in just a little bit here and talk more about the kids' classes that you can sign your kids up for coming up. Good day continues.